Hello, today we are going to be talking about my pet queen ant that I have been keeping for the past month or so. So here I am taking all uh, off the foil that I put on so it wouldn't be exposed to light that much. And there is her royal highness. I decided to name her the woodland monarch because the we I just felt like that would be her name. That's what I thought. So, yeah, it's a pretty small test tube setup. At the time, I didn't have a lot, but now I have a pretty big one. And there, and I have like 50 of them, so now I'm good. But when I first caught this, I wasn't exactly ready. So, yeah, it has a quite a lot of brood. And most of her eggs have actually hatched, if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but... Yeah, actually, most of her eggs hatched, so about like a one, two weeks ago, so soon they should turn into cocoons, I'm pretty sure, or depending on the species, I think it'll turn into cocoons, and then after that, it'll take some time to um, come out of the cocoon and be a fully grown ant. In the meantime, I do have... Um, I am getting stuff set up, like an Outworld set up, and, and I've gone, I got food for it today, so like, once the first workers come, I need to feed the colony. Okay, I'm gonna show you a close-up. So yeah, as I was uh, saying, I think that the queen ant is probably gonna be hungry, so I'm gonna feed it. Also, I think the species is Campanotus, as far as I know. But it could be pavement ants. I'm not sure. So, yeah, that's this week's episode. And, oh yeah, this is going to be a series. Every week, I'm going to post one of these videos. And so, see you later. Bye.